Hello and welcome to the fourth tutorial that looks at the spreadsheet section of the GCSE ICT Unit 2 Control Test. Now in this tutorial we're going to be having a look at data validation but more specifically at a type of data validation called a drop-down menu. Now you'll have seen this many many times before so we're going to have a look at example now using the internet. So I've come to the Vans website and I've selected a shoe that I like and what I need to do now before I can carry on with the checkout process is I need to choose a size. So as you can see there's a drop down menu there which lists all of the possible sizes that I could choose from. I could also go over to here and choose from the drop down menu any amount up to 10 that I could possibly buy. Now a reason that they would have this on a website such as this is that if we've got to select the shoe size they only stock shoes in sizes UK 3 to a UK 12 so if I was to have to type the size in I might accidentally type in the number 13 or 14 in which case they're non-existent so I wouldn't be able to complete my order so what this does is it tells you what's available and then you have to choose one of a number of options from the drop down menu so it, it's good for preventing errors. Now, if I go back to my spreadsheet, and this is where we left off last time. So I've opened up from my ICT control test spreadsheet folder, and I've got my macro enabled workbook, and this is as far as we got in the last tutorial. So I've created the headings. Now, going back to data validation, it's really useful in spreadsheets and databases, or any other kind of data entry form because it's a lot quicker to select from a list than it is to actually type out a certain group of words every single time. It also prevents typing errors because, you, because you're just selecting one of a number of options. So let's have a go at creating one for ourselves first of all. So I'll show you the example. In the example, um, in the example spreadsheet, if I just zoom in a little bit, you can see here now that player position. Now, there's only four positions that it can be chosen from here. So I, it can either be a striker, a midfielder, a goalkeeper, or play in defense. So I could absolutely go in every time, and I could just type out striker, defense, striker again, goalkeeper, but you can see that that's actually quite time consuming. Although we've only got 12 records in our particular spreadsheet here, it's still, if imagine if we had 300, it would take a lot, lot longer. So we're going to use a drop down menu. Now, first of all, I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to go into this spreadsheet here, and I've already found out the names of the players from the team. So what I did was I wrote them out, and that didn't take me too long, but I'm going to cheat a little bit, and I'm just going to copy those until I've copied it because of the dotted outline there and I'm going to go to this worksheet here and I'm just going to paste and it will paste those all in in the same way so obviously now <clears throat> what we could do here we know that these are overlapping they don't quite <clears throat> excuse me they don't quite fit into the cell so the best thing to do is remember now when it changes the cursor changes there double click or click and drag and it will take those out to fit this fit inside the cells now you'll notice that the borders have actually carried over so I'm just going to highlight those a second because we're going to go on to borders later on I'm going to clear that's not quite what I wanted to do I want to clear formats there we go so I've cleared all the formatting which includes borders and now I've just got the data which is their names so I'm ready to actually put in there my drop down menu so first of all what I need to do and if you've been wondering why I had these uh, positions over here in a list, I will show you now. So we go to our blank spreadsheet and somewhere over here I'm just going to type in striker, midfield, defense and goalkeeper. And of course I'll just stretch that out again. So what I need to do now is I've essentially created a list there and this will become apparent why we've done that in a moment. 
So I click in the cell that I want to have my drop down menu in. I go at the top to the data tab. So it brings up the data ribbon here with all the options. And I'm going to click on data validation. Now in this dialog box here, it's going to show me certain options that I can have to validate my data. So I'm going to go on a drop down menu there. And I'm going to go down to the option which says list. And what I'm going to do is choose the source. So I click on this icon here and it's going to allow me to choose the source or the list that will then form my drop down menu. So all I'm going to do is highlight those, click drag to highlight and you know they're highlighted because of the dotted outline. And I'm going to press this icon again. And when I go back here now, everything's fine. I've chosen to allow it from a list. My source has been selected, which is my options here. And I'm going to press OK. And when you click OK, you'll notice that the little drop down menu pops up. So if I click back in there again, click on there, and then I can choose the position. So you can see that's a lot quicker than typing it out, especially when I've got to do it multiple times. Now, you could just go through every single time and do data validation, choose from a list, choose my source, which is this list here, and press OK. But obviously I want it to be available for every single one of these here. Now, in the bottom right hand corner there, you can see there's a little square on the outline of the cell, and that is called the fill handle, and the cursor changes when I hover over it, like that. If I click and hold, and then I drag it down over all of those cells there, you'll notice that now they all have the option of a drop down menu. And that's how we form our data validation. So I'm just going to fill those in there. I'm going to make those up because I can't remember what they were from the other sheet. So he's in defense. I have a goalkeeper there, a striker, and then midfield, midfield, defense, have another defense, midfield, better have another goalkeeper in there, and we'll go for midfield again. So obviously, as you can see now, it's overlapped on some of the cells because it doesn't fit, so I can just double click on the top there, and it will fit perfectly. So now I've actually put the names of my players in there, the positions they play using a drop down menu, which is a data validation. And remember, it's on the data tab and it's on the data ribbon along here. And that's how we do a data validation.